Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out at the range doing a little bit of shooting today. I brought a couple of guns out I thought you guys would like to see on the channel. Uh, I don't believe I've done a video on this one yet. Uh, this is uh, quite a cool old uh, little single shot 22. And uh, I thought you guys would like to take a look at it. <clears throat> it's uh, kind of a plain Jane, except for the history of it. But uh, what we have here is a Savage model 3c these were made in the 40s i believe as uh, the time frame these were made which is uh what makes the history of this one kind of interesting <clears throat> this one uh, was actually uh, i believe sent over to england as part of the lend lease uh, program that the united states did to get uh, a bunch of guns over to England to help uh, defend the mainland of England during World War II. I have had a couple of guys tell me that they don't think that this one was, was that in that program, but it does have a serial number on it. And I, here is the, uh, here's the stamp for the actual uh, model number, and it does have a serial number on it. And then uh, here is the stamp. Uh, it has a bunch of proof marks on it. And uh, it actually, it does have a date stamped on there of 1947. So that would have been after World War II. So. But it does have some uh, that BNP. I think that's British Navy uh, proof. Um, so I'm not sure. It's... It's still a cool gun. It's been over across the pond, and uh, now it's back over here in the States, so that's pretty cool. Um, it does have a Parker Hale PH-16 uh, peep sight on it, which is probably worth twice what the gun is worth. But uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take a shot, couple shots with it. And uh, I've had this one for several years. Um, it's quite a cool, quite a cool old gun. Shoots pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to be shooting 25 yards here, nothing too strenuous, but uh, it is pretty windy out here, so I'm not expecting a ton out of these groups today, but it is cold. Ooh, it's cold. Ooh. Do love these old, so I, I kind of assume that it was a, a military trainer or a military, some sort of military. Uh, military use gun. Um, I'm not sure if they serialized. I know they sent some guns over just for civilian use and, and weren't part of the, the war effort, but I don't think that they serialized uh, the guns that they just sent over for civilian use, so. The aperture on this peep sight is a little bit big for sighting in so it's it's a little tough to get the uh, same exact sight picture every time but I shot a group off camera before I started it up and it, it did pretty good so nothing's ever gonna win any uh, shooting competitions but Definitely uh, baggy a squirrel, no problem. So this was with the Elay target. I'm gonna try a group with uh, some, I got some Norm Attack 22 here. It's good stuff too. We'll go ahead and start, try a group with that. I 
fingers are just about frozen here. It's hard to get the 22 shells into the chamber. And this one you got to feed them in. They don't have a, doesn't have a shot tray. So you got to get that nose of that bullet into the started into the barrel. But I've had several of these Savage Model 3s. I had a 3A, 3C, a couple other 3s. And that's just the way they were. You had to, had to manually feed those in. Some of the other little higher end single shot 22s I have, you just drop it in there and they self-align into the, into the barrel. But Love shooting these old 22s. Some of these older guys, I wish, wish, wish they would come with a book with them that tells the, the whole history of, uh, you know, where they've been, what they've been through. Especially like the old military trainers I have, you know, that probably spent decades at a, you know, boot camp or something like that, training tens of thousands of different people have handled those and just all the stories that those might have. But let me uh, pause the camera. I'll go get that target and take a look. I can't really see what I hit from here. So be right back with you. All righty. Well, that was a pretty good shooting, actually. Uh, Looks like the Norma did maybe just a little bit better, but uh, they both look like it had four shots into one hole and then a little stray uh, on each one of them. But uh, that's probably all just me, just my eyes. But anyway, so there's the Savage 3C, uh, probably a British military trainer or Lend-Lease. Anyway, cool old gun. Got some people coming up over here, so I'm gonna jump off, but uh, Hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Until next time, have a great day.